Hey folks, so I wanted to talk today about the importance of being able to rant and have people who understand you and continue talking with you after you rant and about what you're ranting about. <clears throat> this is another thing that really fucking pisses me off about the majority of people most of the time, mainstream society. It's like they have this, many people have this fucking auto freeze up mechanism or state to where the brain will fucking tune off to what the topic at hand is, to what a person is ranting about, and they'll get all scared like a deer in headlights, all freaked out, not even being able to process why you're fucking pissed off about legitimate shit, and that you're talking amid the rant about how to fix stuff. You're not just only ranting, you're talking about the actual solutions that you're going to implement, and then you're, you are in the process of implementing. But at the same time, you're talking about what pisses you off. So many people have this fucking autopilot thing where, oh my god, expressions of anger, I can't stand that. Oh my god, expressions of anger, I can't stand it. Ooh. It's like, well, the reality of life is reality is fucking hellish in this world, and there's insane fucking horrific shit going on all the goddamn time. There's a lot of fucking legitimate stuff to rant about and to work on fucking fixing. Things aren't just hunky-dory or just okay or dandy or fine. They're not. So if a person can't handle someone else needing to rant about very important shit, then they're a weak ass motherfucker is what they are. Be and they're also a person living in a fairy tale land <clears throat> as well. If they can't tolerate or withstand legitimate rants about legitimate issues. So having outlets on YouTube like this, the ability to rant to each other about these important things is so fucking important because we actually can and do get stuff accomplished via ranting. What it does is it stabilizes you emotionally. What it does is it allows you to feel sane and relaxed and calm. It stabilizes the nerves. <clears throat> you notice that if you're a YouTuber, an anti-natalist YouTuber, when you upload videos, you have, it really does contribute to a sense of calm in you. You, you probably notice the same thing that I do because you have people that you're able to access throughout the world who actually respond and reciprocate with the feelings that you're feeling. God, that is so fucking important. And it's very fucking therapeutic. So having an outlet as an antinatalist is, it cannot be overestimated. Uh, it is so absolutely essential and important to have that as an antinatalist, especially if you're someone who is very intensely empathic and you really feel strongly about things. In other words, if you're a real person, real people feel strongly about what they feel. They feel intense. Whether Whatever their feelings are, they're intense feelings. If you're a real fucking person, a genuine person, your feelings are always going to be intense feelings. Whether they're happy, sad, angry, whatever. They're always going to be intense because you're fucking real. You're not this NPC robot who has very dulled down feelings or has dulled down empathy. No, you're a legit, real, genuine person. So... You know, that's been the thing with me. I've never been able to relate to most people on this. Like, if somebody's ranting about something legitimate, and I've run into many cases about this, I'll be the one staying, sitting there, listening to them, and actually confirming their points, and talking to them about how to actually fix stuff, and working on the suit, uh, validating what they're pissed off about. Whereas other people around me will just kind of be flickering out, trailing out, oh, let's not, let's not get into the drama, no, dr let's try to avoid the drama. Well, let me tell you something, life is fucking dramatic as a motherfucker. And it's always shoved down your throat and in your fucking face 24-7, if you haven't noticed, you know? And so this is my awareness at all times. It's like, people need this outlet to be able to rant about legit shit that needs fucking fixed and solved and stopped. Because the majority of issues that are <clears throat> going on right now, they're human-caused and human-fixable. You have nature by itself causing issues to plants and animals and, you know, disease and old age and all that bullshit that keeps going on outside of humans, which is stuff we're gradually coming to fix to some extent uh, in many cases anyway. You know, so the point being is if there's any solution to any of this shit, it's going to come from humans working together as a team and actually getting the shit fixed. You know, we can whine and complain about it all day. And ranting about it is important because the ranting and the emotionality leads you to want to fix the shit, to make efforts to actually fucking fix it, okay? Versus just, oh, throwing our hands up in the air, oh, well, that's just the way it is. No, the majority of this shit is fixable. The, all the stuff that's caused by fucking humans is fixable. It's not unfixable. 
And this idea that people have that it's completely fucking unfixable entirely. Well, if that's the concept and that's the viewpoint, well, of course it's going to remain fucking unfixable. God damn it. You know? <clears throat> so, you know, even if we're at the point where climate change and many are saying this, that no matter what we do, it's literally irreversible at this point, we can still focus on innovations that allow us to live basically as if we're living in space on earth and ensure pleasure and ensure ease of passage from this world out of it, painless passage out of this world, pleasure filled passage out of this world, those kinds of technologies, those things we can work on and implement and do so that people passing from this world are not going to pass from it in a miserable, agonizing fucking way. There's a lot of fucking shit we can do. Even if the climate issue is irreversible, there's still a ton of shit we can do to convert earth into basically a space based type situation, you know? So, I'm one of those people whose focus is on technological solutions because this whole disappearance, non-existent shit, I don't fucking agree with. I'm a solid, hardcore antinatalist, but I don't fucking agree with this fairy tale unicorn in the sky. You're going to be able to escape from death or you're going to be able to escape by death bullshit. That's, and that's another thing I'll cover in other parts of this channel. I see this a lot amongst antinatalists. And even though I agree with antinatalists on a bunch of other stuff, that one particular point just sticks out to me as really fucking stupid that people believe or think like in this fingers crossed way that they're going to somehow escape being forced into sentience again just by dying or leaving their brain and body currently. That's a really dumb idea because it's a mathematical inevitability that you'll enter back into sentience again. You're not going to escape sentience. Even if there is no soul, you're going to have another form that's sentient. You may be able to escape the current direct right now brain and body situation itself that you're in, but that's not going to get you escaping suffering or being forced into other forms or the molecules that make you up being forced into multiple other sentiences or anything like there's and, or nor is it going to solve the issue of other sentiences still suffering once you're fucking gone. You're basically just leaving the rest of them to rot with that psychology. So, you know, that's another topic. So my main focus right now in this particular video is <clears throat> on this ability to rant and to be able to express your views on stuff, you know. And yes, there are things I have to rant about reg regarding a lot of common antinatalist views or common views held among many antinatalists that I solidly don't fucking agree with, uh, that being one of them. So uh, antinatalists themselves are not off the hook on stuff that I rant about and get pissed off about, but they're a lot more off the hook than most people most of the time. I hound in on every single fucking issue, and I fixate on each one of them in a very hyper-detailed fashion. So if I see some loose end to something or some issue with it as a viewpoint or as an ideology, I don't let up on it. I call that out for what it is. You know, so uh, whatever that may be. So in other words, my main point is that being able to rant in this way on all these fucking things, on all these fucking topics is so fucking therapeutic. So thank you for being willing to listen and be a part of this channel and just hear me out. Thank you for that. Holy fucking shit, it's a relief to be able to do that and have somebody just hear me out. I'm so fucking tired of people having this freeze-up mode as soon as I want to rant or talk about something or, or get on some issue that somebody brought up that's fucking abusive or evil or fucked up and call that shit out and to get it to stop. I'm so fucking tired of people freezing up and not being able to handle me needing to rant about it. That really fucking annoys the hell out of me. Because it's like, it should be content focused contest. It's like, what is the person ranting about? If the person's ranting about some petty ass, stupid fucking bullshit, which is what most people tend to rant about, it seems like, that's some innocuous, just rigmarole day to day, prittle prattle, then yeah, that's fucking stupid. And I call that out too. It's like, why the fuck are you ranting about that? That's such a goddamn mundane, stupid ass fucking thing. You know, if you're going to rant about something, rant about something that's actually fucking legitimate, something that's actually fixable, something that's actually an issue that needs real fucking fixing, you know, and something that's fucking preventable. Or if it's not preventable, calling out the fucking hypocrisy in an ideology towards it, you know. So anyway, there you have it. Please feel free to rant and continue to do so in all your videos and on all your channels. It's therapeutic and it's important and let it out. Let the roar go. Let it flow. You know, be you. Talk to you later.